I went to school to be an engineer, um, but then I became a broker, and I always wanted to play games. So I just found a way to play games for a living. I started off uh, with some comics. So we had comics for a while in our store, so it was mostly comics and a little bit of games. Um, but as there became more games, which in the last 10 years has been phenomenal growth and just the number of different games that are available. So, and with people's interest, because we started 27 years ago, and the kids then, where the parents weren't as open to the Dungeons and Dragons, gaming, Pokemon, card game, and stuff like that, those kids are now adults with kids. So you get those people coming in to play the game. So the, the, the market has grown, it's way more acceptable, and, and it's a lot more um, desirable. Well, Dungeons and Dragons is a role-playing game. So that's a whole genre of different games. There's Star Wars role-playing games, there's My Little Pony role-playing games, there's Conan role-playing games. So there's a lot of um, different themes that you can get in a role-playing game. So that's just one segment of the thing. We also have miniature games. They're playing uh, Warhammer 40,000, which is um, an English game. And that's where you basically build models and paint them and then field them in battle and play by rules, roll dice, use a measuring to measure how far they move and then have combat. And then there's board games. And board games, it's really hard to to say what kind of board games because there's so many mechanics now, like Monopoly was a board game and you would associate it with dice. Scrabble, is it a word game, a board game? You know, it has tiles. Well, now there's so many other games like Settlers of Catan, or now it's just called Catan. Ticket to Ride. They're board games, there's cards in them. Some have dice, some don't. Some are just cards that build the board. So all kinds of worker placement, strategy type games that, in, that are called board games now. We have the largest selection of games probably in the you know, three states, four states. There's over 3,000 different board games here. So we have a whole um, children's section, but we have games that range from 18 months to, I guess, as old as you want to play games. We do a lot of Kickstarters. Um, people are familiar with Kickstarters. This is where small companies or even big companies now go to um, mass funding, go online and get a whole bunch of people to pay money so they can make their game. We back some of those games as retailers. So we'll get in the Kickstarter version, which comes with so many extra things that you wouldn't get in the retail version of the game. And then we have a section for Kickstarters and we put little stickers on that say Kickstarter so you know you're getting all the Kickstarter stuff with it. Well, we don't have every game in the library, but there's over a thousand games in the library. So the better games, better is not a good term because everybody likes different games, but we try and get a wide selection of games. So let's say you just had Tuesday night free and you wanted to come in and play games. You could come in, sit down and play a two-player game or bring your friends. It's totally free. I mean, we're in an age where you can get anything you want online pretty much. And a lot of people buy stuff online, obviously. But I think the stores, the places, that are really starting to thrive are the ones that offer an entertainment value for the people to come out and participate. Um, my old time friends are all, always tell me, it's like, you know, it's few people that get to do exactly what they wanted to do. And this, this business, I started this business before there were this many games. So it's, I don't wanna say I was a visionary because eh, maybe I just lucky, um, but I wanted, to, I wanted to have a place for gaming and it just, the game developed around me, so it just worked out really well.